Hello, this is Nick Andre, your at-home instructor, walking you to another screencast. In this screencast, I will demonstrate how to access the training through My IT Lab. Remember, the training simulations is used to teach you how to use the Microsoft Office applications. To do this, I've already signed into the My IT Lab website. To access a weekly training, I'll go back up to the upper left corner of my window, hover over the course content button, and click view all content. When this loads up, you see that I have organized my IT lab by using weekly folders. Next to each weekly folder's name, I've added the application that we're using. So last week, we started to learn how to use Word. Let me click on that folder. And you'll see in this folder, I have supplied you with a couple of resources in the lab activity. The first resource is just the e-text of Word Chapter 1 giving you the written how-to to accomplish the lab down the bottom. Most students prefer using the virtual simulation training over the actual textbook. And let me show you why that is the case. To start a training session, just come down here over top of the actual title and click once. You're going to get a window that pops up assuming that you've installed all the appropriate software. Give it some time and let the simulation software load up. It will take over your screen and it will give you a mock-up version of what's going on. As you can see, my program is running, but it looks like my desktop. They're asking me down here in this lower area to start Microsoft Word. So this is basically the question or the task. I know this is the first part of the task because in bold it says start Microsoft Word. And then everything else is grayed out. So to do this, I can do it several ways. I could double click here, I can come down here to start, and I can go to all programs, or I can click it right here. There's more than one way to accomplish something. This is good enough for me, so I'm just going to click on Microsoft Word 2010. And as you can see, the computer has accepted that. It didn't say incorrect here, it just took that bold text, graded out, and it moved to the next statement. Now it's telling me to type in Rock Climbing 101. I need to warn you, my IT lab is very sensitive. So when they tell you to type in Rock Space Climbing, and Rock has a capital letter R, be sure to do so. If you were not to put in the capital letter R, or the capital letter C in this case, and type in just like that and hit enter, it'll say incorrect action down here at the bottom of your screen. So make sure you replace this so it reads exactly what they want. Now this can be accessed via the internet on any computer as long as you are using Internet Explorer. So now that I typed in what they told me to do, I'm going to hit enter and they accepted it and moved me to the next line. It says at the insertion point, insert the text from this particular file in the My Documents folder. As you can see, it's the bold text down here. But I'm not sure, sure how to do that. So in order for me to learn, I'm going to click the Show Me button. Now make sure you're in a computer that actually has headphones or speakers so you can hear the person the tell you what to do. Then click text from file. So they're telling me that I should come in up here, insert click Insert, box, come click over to the, the object, choose Insert Text file. from File, and they're telling me to click pick this file. Button and then click insert. I know what they were, where they want me to click because the areas are highlighted in red. But now they're saying, now that we have done this, you need to do it. So let me click OK and let me try that. I go up to the insert tab, click on that. I come over here to object, click on the arrow next to that and then I choose text from file. This is the file they want me to choose. So I click on that once and then I click insert. And there it is, and they pat me on the back by saying correct. Now they're saying select the title of the document, climbing, Rock Climbing 101, and then the paragraph mark that follows it. Format it selecting text using the fill-none comma outline accent to text effect. Well, 
I know how to highlight something. I just simply click and hold and drag across that. What I might not know is what they're talking about here, fill-none outline. So I'm going to come over here to this hint. Select the first line of text. Now they're telling the me to mark, select the first line of text, tab. including the paragraph mark, which I've already done, but let me do it again. Now they want me to come up here and click on the home button. I know they want me to click here because it's in a red box. In the font group, now they're the telling me in the font group, click, the fill none click this button right here. Button and come down and choose this one. If I hover over it, just like if it's in a real program, they'll tell me fill-none outline-accent2. All right? Now they said training is complete. Once again, I must show to them that I learned that. So let me highlight this. Come up to the Home tab. Come over to Text Effects and choose that option. Now I'm going to demonstrate what happens when you need to leave and you want to come back to the training. To do that, I'm going to come down here where it says save for later. And I'm going to say, yep, I know. I'm not done with it, but I'm going to plan on coming back. And if all goes well, there'll be a little hourglass that says in progress. I've already submitted this training because I've done it before, letting me know that I failed. But if you just saved it and it's your first time doing it, just ignore this. It'll just say in progress. The other thing I want to bring to your attention is I assign these trainings to you. You don't get a grade for them. If you choose to do it or not, it's completely up to you. But by doing these trainings, they're going to help you complete the lab for that week. In fact, if you have a question, and I know it's in the training, and you send me an email, I will tell you, visit the training. If it's not in the training, and it's not posted on Blackboard, then I will create a new video showing you how to accomplish that task. So please, do the training, then do the lab. All right, this is how you get back into the training. Let me click on the word chapter one, and it should load up again for me. And I'm going to show you that when you save in the middle of the task, you'll actually get to start back over again per that question. So I recommend that when you're in the middle of something, finish that question, then come back. As you can see in the lower right corner, it says unattempted questions remaining 22 of 22. Well, I've already done this part, but I didn't finish this question. So let me redo it, highlight it, come up to home, choose the text effect, choose the second option. Now it says apply an offset left shadow text effect, third column, second row. Hmm. Where are they talking about? Well, once again, let me go to hint. With the title text still selected, telling me with the still selected, the go to text effects, the text effects button, come down to the shadow, and then click, and then choose left. this particular one. By the way, when they ask me to pick a particular style, I always like going to the hint because it's quicker for me to find out what exactly style they're talking about. Let me click OK, still highlight it, come back up to this one, drop down the shadow, and choose the right one. Whoops, a little tricky. There we go. Now, it says change the font color of the selected text to a dark blue text number two. I can do that. Here we are. But this time I don't have a red box telling me that. But they're telling me fourth column. So we have one, two, three, four, first row. There it is. I hover over it. It says dark blue text number two. Now it said it's complete or corrected. But what I'm going to do is save for later because I have to go. And then I'll re-demonstrate by opening that back up that it'll start right fresh at the beginning of that question. And all I have is 21 more questions to complete. I know for most of you, some of these exercises are trivial and you might already know how to do it and you're just lacking a few skill sets. No big deal. You don't have to go through this question by question. All right, let's go back to the lower right corner. As you can see, I have 21 of 21, but this time, let me show you how to jump ahead. Let me click on question list. As you can see, I have a whole list of activities that I need to accomplish. It looks like I know how to do that. I know how to do that. I know how to do this one. I know how to do this one. What I don't know how to do is insert a text box. So let me click on that one. 
And just like that, it's automatically going to complete those other questions for you. But then now if I hit the show me, they'll On show the me tab, exactly group, what I need the text box to do just inserting a text box. box. So this is basically how you will learn using the Office programs on your own. So after this person gets done demonstrating this to me, I will save this for later. Just give me some specifications. All right, training complete. I need to show them, but I need to go. So let me click save for later, and now I am done. So in this demonstration, I was showing you how to access the training by going to the appropriate week, clicking on the training link, and walking through the exercises. In another screencast, I will show you how to accomplish a lab activity.